Welcome ladies and gentlemen, Gorhamian here with Misfit Studios as always, and today we're going to be starting a brand new series with HitFilm Express. We're going to be going into detail and depth on all of the effects in the effects window. Today we're going to actually going to be doing audio, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, so the very first video in this is going to be on the audio file. So let's go ahead and bring up our effects panel and then drop down the audio window. So let's go ahead and make a composite shot because it's going to be a lot easier to mess with things while we're in a comp shot as opposed to just our audio or our editor rather. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to the very first one, the audio reverse. A lot of these are going to be a very self-explanatory, but I am going to go over them anyways. Um, that way you guys can, you know, see what they're all about. Audio reverse, the exact same thing as what it, it is exactly what it says. It actually reverses the audio. So let's go ahead and bring that down. And then if we play through this. The audio is reversed. Um, it's like I said, some of these effects that they've put on here are really kind of weird and different, but... Some of them are really kind of um, kind of fun to play with. Um, the audio reverse, of course, doesn't have a control panel or anything like a drop down that you can change any of the effects on. So we're gonna go ahead and delete that and go to our balance. Um, some of the some of these effects will be um, <clears throat> set up that way that you can't tweak their settings. They are what they are, just like the audio reverse. You can't really you know change that. So let's go ahead and go to balance. What this is going to do is it's going to um, play your audio in a stereo. Um, I'm not an audio technician by any means, and so please bear with me if I'm using, you know, the wrong terminology or if I'm, you know, getting something that's not quite right. But with the balance, it's gonna tell you whether it's gonna be the left or right side of the user. So like if you're using headphones or if you've got stereo speakers, it's going to push your audio from left or right. And so if you're listening to this with um, stereo, we can actually create this to the left and play through this, and it should play in your left ear as opposed to your right. And so let's go ahead and go to the right ear. Studios as always, and, today and it'll play in your right ear. So the nice thing about this is you can actually keyframe this back and forth. So if you're doing some, you know, different kinds of um, cool effects with some audio and some music and you want, you know, the balance to go left from right, you can do that. You can keyframe whether you want things to go um, left or right. And so if you create back your center, you can actually have this slider left or right. And it's the exact same thing. It's going to be a positive 100 and negative 100. And so you can keyframe that to go back and forth. So let's go ahead and just skip through a little bit. Keyframe to the right, keyframe to the left, and then keyframe to the right again. So let's go ahead and go play through this again. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Gorhamian here with Misfit Studios, as always. And today we're going to be starting... It's going to bounce from left to the right side, depending on you know how quickly you have those keyframes in. Okay, so Cathedral. This is going to be something that's, you know, one of those little effects that you can just throw in there. We're going to go ahead and apply that, um, and you can just change the volume of it. Sounds like you're in, in a Cathedral. If we turn this up a little bit, Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, for hanging here. the echo is just going to get louder. It's going to be like you're talking louder. Very super simple. So let's go ahead and go to Channel Levels. So channel levels are going to be um, your, you know, left and right, just like when we were talking about our balance. It's going to be your left channel and your right channel. Um, and so if you change these, let's turn this left channel down and play through this. You're going to get a louder in your right and quieter in your left. Well, actually, you're going to be quieter in the left side than you are on the right side because you're just changing um, the volume of that. You're changing the gain. Um, that's exactly what channel levels are is you can tweak those, you know, from left to right. And of course, you can do the exact same thing um, keyframing wise with balance. Of course, in the channel levels, it's going to be a little bit more difficult, but you can do that as well. Okay, so on the echo, we're going to go ahead and bring that down. And of course, it's just like the name suggests, it echoes your voice. You can change the fall off, you can change the delay of the echo, and then also you can number of echoes. So if you want your, you know, the audio to echo once, or you want it to echo, you know, 20 times, it will do so. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, go away. And it will sit there and echo and echo and echo, depending on what setting you have set to it. 
All right, the equalizer, of course, is just like the name suggests. You can go and change what frequencies are at what volume or the gain, rather, each frequency within that um, the settings are put. They're going to all default at zero decibels, of course. Um, and then we do have a preset drop down menu, and you can go through these and pick whatever preset you want to apply. If you feel comfortable with changing some of these settings, myself, I do not. I like to use the presets when I am doing this because like I said, I am not an audio technician and it is, you know, some of these um, little nuances of changing some of these audio settings um, can get kind of complicated. So if you wanna go ahead and mess around with the equalizer and change some of these um, frequency levels and um, get some really neat effects, then more power to you. All right, so large room. Of course, these next two, large room and medium room, are going to give the effect that you are standing in a large room and it's going to so, ladies and gentlemen, here with give kind of an echo. It's more of a, a echo preset um, as opposed to, you know, a, an, another effect and you change the gain, you know, on that one as well. Medium room, we're going to skip over, but it's the exact same as the large room. And then the noise reduction. The noise reduction I actually use quite often. Um, what you do is you actually capture a quiet point in the video, okay? So if we go and click capture noise point, what we can do is all we need to do is find a point in the video that doesn't have any audio. It's just an open microphone, okay? And so let's go ahead and reset the noise point. Capture it now. Once you've done that, it will actually um, reduce the background noise, it'll actually reduce your levels. And so what that does is it takes away any, you know, background noise, any hissing, any fan noises, anything like that. Anything that's too quiet for hit film to pick up through your microphone, but of course the microphone recorded it as a sound wave, and so it's going to play that back. That will reduce the noise in your video. Very, very helpful. Pitch. I love messing around with pitch. It is kind of neat. You can, of course, make your, um, you know, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, voice really high, really deep. <laughs> it is kind of neat to make some mess around with. Play around with the pitch, and uh, you'll get some really interesting different results. Shortwave radio. I actually really like the shortwave radio. It is kind of a neat little effect we we'll go ahead and turn that one on it should it sounds like a shortwave radio um <clears throat> like i said a lot of these are really self-explanatory um but i do wanted to go through a lot of these um and show you guys and kind of share some of these with you small room just like the large room in the media room it's going to sound like you were talking in a small room Telephone, we can actually add that telephone on. Let's go ahead and play through that again. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Gorhamian here with Misfit Studios. And it sounds like a terrible, terrible rotary phone. And if you guys don't know what a rotary phone is, it's kind of dating me. But just go ahead and Google it. So um, now that we've got the telephone down, last but not least on the list is tone. So let's go ahead and add that tone. And as the name suggests, it's a tone. So if you're going to be doing a lot of um, censoring, maybe, maybe you've got some language in your video that you really don't want to have to go back and re-record. Um, something was slipped. Um, you want to, you know, you're making meme clips or something. Um, then the tone is really, really going to be something that you can, you, that you can play with and you can use. Um, there is a, a list of presets and these different presets are different sine waves or actually different tone waves and so you get different pitches um and actually it's changing the frequency of that as you can see the frequency slider every time you change the preset it will change the frequency and so you can mess around with those thank you ladies and gentlemen for watching gorhamian here with misfit studios as always and i know today was kind of kind of a boring one but i just wanted to start out with going through some of these audio effects the later effects that we're going to be going through are really exciting so please stay tuned hit that subscribe button and please don't forget to comment below on what you guys are working on with hitfilm express and hitfilm pro and we will see you guys next time